Hello everybody, I am Somo Kandigiri. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will discuss on different frequently asked questions about GPAD. Okay. So, I have collected some of the frequently asked questions regarding GPAD. So, I am discussing all of them. First question is, but first question is, is GPAD difficult? Okay. So, my answer is, it depends. Okay. See, if you consider GPAT with different other All India business exams like JEN, J means uh, IIT entrance test or NET UG, then you will find that GPAT is uh, not so much difficult like them. Okay. So my advice is the answer of first question like each GPAT difficult is it depends up to you. But if you consider the cut off marks of last five years, then you will find that the cut off marks is increasing like in 2020 all of you know that in 2020 cut off for general was 163 in 2019 all of you know that cut off was 141 okay general cut off in 2018 all of you know that the cut off was 137 in 2017 the cut off was 1 and then 13. In 2016, the cutoff was 125 for general. Sorry, 115. Not 25, 115. So you can easily see, you can easily see the trend. Okay. The cutoff is increasing. Okay. That doesn't mean that the quality of the uh, the exam is more going to be more difficult. That doesn't mean. But the meaning of this scenario is the standard of this exam is increasing okay standard of this exam is increasing okay all here to assist you okay so coming to the next question what is the use of gpat exam see before uh, giving this uh, giving the answer of this question i want to say that if you if you take proper preparation if you take proper strategy for gpat i hope I, or I think that you will definitely crack the exam. Okay. So the coming to the next question, what is the use of GPAT exam? So if you qualify GPAT, okay, and you will get uh, uh, admission in uh, different AICT or PCI approved college, okay, then you will get twelve thousand four hundred rupees per month as a stipend. Okay. Number one. Number two. If you qualify GPAT, then you will get admission. You can get admission to reputed colleges, reputed government colleges or reputed uh, private colleges. Okay. So after passing from that from uh, that colleges, you will get good placements. Okay. That is the benefit. And if you want to do research uh, uh, after your M farm, then you you will also get some opportunities from those institutes okay so that is the benefit that is the main benefit so after uh, the, then coming to the next question third question how many times we can give a GPAT exam okay this is this is very difficult question because many of you asked me this question okay the answer is according to NTA information brochure okay in 2000 at uh, in 2019 you can give gpat anytime okay frequency is not mentioned there okay up to 2000 sorry up to 2020 guideline no frequency was mentioned okay you can give gpat uh, how many uh, whatever whatever i mean two times three times four times five times okay no age restriction no boundary was limited okay and uh, in 2021 i think this will be carried forward okay this will be this will be carried forward okay and no boundary up today okay till today no boundary is there then coming to the fourth question how do i prepare for gpat 2021 see i have already given a video in youtube that what should be your preparation strategy for gpat 2021 okay you can uh, search this and uh, see this video there in that video i have mentioned 
what should be your preparation strategy for GFAT 2021. Please see the video. I am giving the description. I am giving the link in the description box. Please see the video and it will help you and uh, you will give uh, you will get the answer of this question okay then coming to the fifth question okay how many questions should i attempt in gpad exam to qualify this exam okay so see i have also uploaded a video regarding this i have already discussed there okay but uh, but briefly i am going to discuss this here okay see if you want to crack gpad two or three things are needed first you should do smart study okay smart study means smart study means first read the textbook okay first read the textbooks okay after that please refer or please read some key books key books means those books which are written on notes basis okay like pearson okay like mohammed ali like any other books which are written in uh, short forms okay in briefly in brief way okay in comprehensive way okay you can refer all these books but first read text okay suppose you are reading physical pharmacy and one topic uh, you are reading like micromedics first read micromedics from subramaniam or martin whatever maybe okay after that please read that chapter from pearson or any other key key books key books means uh, the books which are written in comprehensive manner in gpat exam oriented okay please my advice is go for pearson it is a very good book okay so first read textbook after that go for any other key books okay and from uh, if you read key books then you will definitely find that there are several topics there are several points which are highlighted okay which may come in your exam and those points may or may not be highlighted in your textbook okay but these are highlighted in your key books okay so this is the point and uh, how many questions you should attend in gpad to crack this exam my answer is although i am i have discussed in detail okay i am giving the link of that that video here but my advice is go for 80 to 90 questions at least okay go for 80 to 90 questions at least or you can uh, change this range from 75 to 87 or 89 okay whatever may be Oh, this is the end of our video. Hope all of you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe us. Thank you.